I can't help but ask, you see, well, you've made some, some aspects analogous to the current position. Now, it's obviously not that bad. The interest, the, the, the return, the dividend versus interest rate isn't, isn't where it was. You see a lot of excesses in the current market. I would say that we have, uh, well, I think right now, when you look at kind of any asset price, you, you have to be thinking that this is uh, a highly dubious, sustainable price. And I say that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, first and foremost, I don't think monetary policy, the way it's currently conducted, is sustainable over time. We have, if you think about just history, History is the normal real 10-year rates, 200 basis points, and right now we're probably minus 30 or 40. The normal real short-term rates, 100 to 120 basis points, and we're probably negative 40 right now. So, uh, so clearly, interest rate policy is crazy. Like if you had just parachuted in and said we have a 3.8% unemployment, 2.8% CPI, water rates, you just four and a half or five or something like that. So you know rates ultimately are not sustainable because ultimately, much like the late 60s, we had Operation Twist in the 50s and 60s where we manipulated interest rates and had low real rates. And then everyone kind of the 60s got used to zero rates, zero real rates, and that set us up for the 70s. And so. I think we're doing the same thing again. So I don't think monetary policy is sustainable and clearly fiscal policy, are you kidding me? We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be four this year, add a half a percent every year for the next five or six years, we'll be at seven in three years. Uh, that's not sustainable. So you look at prices of stocks, real estate, anything, you know in the long run that we have to get back to some type, we're gonna have to mean revert back to a normal real rate of interest with a normal term premium that's existed for 250 years. Uh, we're going to have to get back to that. We're going to have to get back to a sustainable fiscal policy. And that probably means uh, price of assets go down in the very long run. Now the short run, uh, you know, it's just- Lighter fluid on a fire. I was going to say jacked up, ready yes. to go. Flare, flare, that's flare. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah it's- um... Yeah, you know, it's kind of amazing, but it's, uh, you know, pouring lighter fluid on, a, on an already lit fire. Two, two problems with that. One is it flares, and the other problem is you don't have the lighter fluid left for when you need it. So it'll be... So if you just imagine uh, the next recession comes. What do you do? Oh, my God. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. They're going to... This will be... Where are you going to be when that happens? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, hopefully I'll have been really short. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, the next recession's really frightening because we don't have any stabilizers. Uh, we'll have monetary policy, which will exhaust very quickly, but we don't have any fiscal st stabilizers. In 2000, the last time we were at 3.8% unemployment, we had a 2.5% budget surplus. 